welcome back to my channel. Please hit subscribe and that bell for notifications if you want to follow us on our journey. Today's video is going to be a summary of our first week in the caravan. I'm going to talk about uh, all the things that have changed and what's happening at the moment. Uh, we're also going to be going outside and having a look at some of the things that are new outside, which I think are very exciting. Most people might perhaps think they're a bit dull, but we're going to go look at those. And finally, I'm going to talk a little bit about the struggles that I've had. My sister-in-law mentioned that sometimes I can present that everything is really well and happy and fine and on the whole I'm, I am a really really positive person I like to keep saying positive things about situations whatever it is that's happening but I do uh, she has made me aware that perhaps I don't communicate the harder side of things and that there are challenges associated with this so we're going to be talking about that later but first let's go outside see the new stuff we'll head out there now all right so here we are outside one of the biggest changes is look, we have a drain. Ha ha, isn't it wonderful? Never thought I'd appreciate a drain as much as I do now, but I do. So that's been really great. We also have bins now, so our rubbish was like really piling up. Well done Wiltshire Council for delivering them very promptly. That's been really good. Then another thing to talk about actually is in a bag underneath that because it was raining quite a lot last night. We have got Wi-Fi, a Wi-Fi extender in that bag just down there which is means that we have the router in the big house and it kind of gets the wi-fi over there so wi-fi is all sorted hurrah and then here we are coming to the garage and then look got a washing machine and a dryer isn't that great oh it's so great i am super 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 appreciative of having a washing machine the piles of washing was becoming unbearable having a little boy who liked to wipe his face all over us meant that uh, both he was dirty quite a lot of the time and we were dirty quite a lot of the time so it's really great to have that so that's all the things outside we've got drains got the waste pipe going to the drain we've got bins we've got a washing machine Got Wi-Fi and then the last thing kind of to mention is because the house has been empty for so long and the caravan has been empty for so long I have been a bit nervous to use the water to drink from the water because there's something called Legionnaire's disease which landlords are responsible for making sure their properties don't have it so I think if I'd never heard about it I probably wouldn't have even thought about it I would have drank from the taps fine and not worried about it but because I'd heard about it, I thought, uh, I'm a bit nervous. So I've got a company that I can't remember the name of, but I'll put it in here in a little bubble there somewhere up there um, who are, have sent us a bottle that we fill with water and then they'll take back and test it for us so hopefully we won't get Legionnaire's disease I'm sure it's I'm sure it's absolutely fine and perhaps I'm being a bit over the top but because I know about it I thought look it's just not worth my stress of thinking that we might get something so that's going to come back from the lab in about two weeks so until then we are drinking from bottled water oh, look the uh, Amazon guy came. Look, it's Ezra's new sleeping bag. <laughs> That's not here. But uh, yes, as I was saying, we are drinking from bottled water at the moment. But hopefully that will be back in about two weeks time. And I'm assuming it will be fine. So yeah, so that's all the stuff outside. Very exciting. And we'll go back in now. So we're back here in the caravan. We're actually in the study today, filming in here for the first time. Not done that. It's now all set up. The beds are gone into storage, they've been wrapped up and we've got two lovely IKEA desks and some chairs in here and we also have some floor plans up on the cork board already which is great. I'm just going to share some of the hard things that I found this week. Um, I think by far the hardest thing that has happened has been the cold. People said when we were going to move in, they said, oh, it's going to be awful in winter. And I thought, yes, it's going to be awful in winter. And we'll just like have the heating on and we'll just get loads of layers. I just wasn't ready for how cold it would be in August at night. I just didn't realise how thin the walls are. The heat just gets out of here and there's like vents everywhere. And I just kind of don't want to cover them up because they just let so much cold air in, warm air out. The cold has been a real challenge, mainly because it just keeps Ezra awake and because I'm perhaps always a little bit nervous of him overheating, because for babies and toddlers it's much more dangerous for them to overheat than to be too cold. Um, I, I've always not been 100% sure like how many layers to put on and how exactly to do that and actually we just haven't had the right things really. So I have ordered 
um, a 3.5 tog sleeping bag and he's going to sleep in that from now on. So most people don't even use a 3.5 sleeping bag, even in winter they just have the 2.5 with a baby girl and a vest and things, but it's so cold. Two nights ago it was 12 and a half degrees in the morning and it's just, it's just really not good for Ezra and because of that he has been awake so much. Two nights ago we were him and I were awake from 12 until 5. Last night he didn't go to sleep until 10. I just think because his sleep has been so muddled, he's been awake so much in the night that he's just he just feels like he's a little bit out of sync and it's just it's just knocked us out to be honest. I found it really really difficult and when I feel like Ezra's not getting enough sleep that makes me feel quite stressed because I know how important sleep is for his development. Right from when he was a baby I was always really quite particular about his sleep and his patterns because his brain, his brain needs it, his body needs it, it's so important for him. So that for me by far has been one of the hardest things. I was crying about it last night when we were driving around in the car with him screaming his little lungs out we were trying to get him to sleep at half past nine and he was just hysterical it was it's that has been the biggest challenge I feel a bit upset about it just talking about it now um I'm sure we'll get the hang of it once this new sleeping bag comes I've got all of his baby grows out of storage I think it will improve but at the moment that's been really hard and I'm just really looking forward to that being sorted out. The second slightly silly thing that I found really difficult has been the bugs. Uh, I'd like to think that on the whole, you know, I'm all right with bugs. You know, there's a daddy long legs, I can, you know, I can grab them, I can get them out. Spiders, little ones, I'm fine, you know, just get rid of them. There have been two massive spiders, like the size of, the size of my palm and uh, one of them was on the bed and I had to squish it with my slipper on and it was on my pillow So slightly comical, but I was really stressed out. I was like there's a dead spider, a massive spider on my pillow This is really gross and there's been earwigs and I think this place is just it is It's been empty for a long time. There's been a lot of bugs and there was so many flies when we moved in the flies everywhere and there's still like flies that attach the, to the like lining of like the neck curtains that are in here like there's flies everywhere and you think that you clean them and then suddenly you like you open your curtain again and there must be another one like stuck somewhere that's kind of fallen down and I, I can even see one up there right now and I just feel like they're just everywhere and obviously you've got all these like big spiders that want to eat those bugs so that's I'm not finding that easy I think just because it makes you feel like not quite homey when there's like loads of bugs in the house I'm hoping that obviously it will just keep getting better and better um, and there'll be less bugs. Again, another reason that I want to kind of close up some of those vents and just, you know, obviously you've got to keep your windows open. You know, ventilation is very important, people, very, very important to prevent damp and mould. But if I can control when the cons when the windows are open, it makes me feel like I'm in more of a powerful, powerful position and loads of bugs aren't going to get in. So that's been the second thing I found hard. The third thing I found hard is the bathroom. On the whole, I've been super happy with like the small sizes of things, you know, everything's on a small scale. I'm very happy with that. I didn't realise how much having a small bathroom would bother me. I went to my friend Holly's house yesterday and I went to the loo and she's got like a little cloakroom uh, on, the, on the ground floor and I just walked in and I thought, ah. Oh, you can like walk into this room and you don't bang your head on the like bathroom cabinet as you're standing up from being on the toilet. And I suddenly did realise, oh, I really do appreciate having a decent sized bathroom. Yeah, it just feels so claustrophobic. And because the caravan is still not level, when you sit on the toilet, you really do feel that you're like on a slant a little bit. And I really, I really don't like that. The shower room is like less of a problem for me because it's just a shower and a sink in there, but it just still feels so confined. So I've just not found, not finding that super easy. But everything else, like having, you know, one room with a kitchen lounge diner and, you know, having a much smaller bedroom, that's not been a problem because there's so much storage. We've actually got much more storage than we ever had in the previous house. So we've got plenty of places for all of our stuff and things can be put away. It feels tidy. We've got homes for everything. 
Um, so that's been fine. It's just, yeah, it's the, it's the banging my head on the bathroom cabinet as I'm standing up from the toilet. I'm not loving that. Really not loving that. But I obviously just have to deal with that because that's how it's going to be for the next four or five months. So those are three things that I found really hard. Hopefully that uh, has given you a bit more insight into our lives and you can see that maybe it's not all as uh, super sparkly and wonderful as perhaps I presented previously. So that has been our week. It's been eventful, it's been fun, it's been cold, but it's been good. So uh, I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. Please hit subscribe and uh, if you like it, give it a little like. Thank you very much and uh, I'll see you all very soon. Have a lovely day. Bye. Bye.